In this video, we're going to predict the products for the reaction between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. It's a bit involved, but not too bad. So if we could classify the type of reaction, then that would help us predict. And here we have calcium carbonate and then hydrochloric acid, HCl. So these are positive ions here. So they're probably going to switch places in a double displacement. So this is likely to be a double displacement reaction. And if we use that, we can predict the products because calcium, that's with the chlorine. And then hydrogen, that goes with the carbonate. But we still need to balance the charges here. So calcium is two plus, chloride ion is one minus. So we need two of those. That's gonna be CaCl2. And the carbonate, the whole thing here is two minus. Hydrogen, that's gonna be one plus. So we're gonna put two of those there. So now these are the correct products. Since chlorides are very soluble, this should be aqueous here. And then that H2CO3, that's carbonic acid. So the carbonic acid there, that's also going to be aqueous. So these are the products that we end up with. But now here's what happens. Carbonic acid, H2CO3, this is not a real stable compound. It's going to decompose. And it's going to decompose into H2O plus CO2. And the CO2, that's going to be a gas. So you'll actually see bubbles from this reaction. There's a link at the end of this video actually showing you the reaction here. And you'll see the bubbles coming off. So we could rewrite this whole thing like this. So we have our calcium carbonate, hydrochloric acid. We get calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. So this would be the final reaction that we would predict. Because when we get the carbonic acid, that's going to decompose into water and the gas here. So we have two types of reactions here, actually. We have the double displacement, then we have this decomposition here. That's how you predict the products for calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Like I said, a little bit difficult, but if you know this trick here, you're good. Thanks for watching.